giant fallout after the veteran scandal. So many American vets not getting the treatment they needed as the national outrage over that treatment of our veterans grows. So many faces, so many patients right there, and you've heard their stories on World News. Well, today we watched as VA Secretary Eric Shinseki arrived at the White House for a meeting with the president. We would learn that during that meeting, he turned in his resignation. Today, his head bowed. He apologized for the system-wide failures of his agency. And there would be one more surprise from the White House late today, and we'll get to that in just a moment here. But first, ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, on that major resignation and how it unfolded with the president. Eric Shinseki started the day with a standing ovation from a group representing homeless vets and an apology for the scandal that left some veterans dying while waiting for health care. I can take responsibility, responsibility for it, and I do. So given the facts I now know, I apologize as the senior leader of the Department of Veterans Affairs. About an hour later, he was at the White House meeting with the president and falling on his sword. A few minutes ago, Secretary Shinseki offered me his own resignation. With considerable regret, I accept it. Pressure on Shinseki mounted after this week's report from the VA's internal watchdog found delayed care for thousands of veterans and deception throughout the VA health care system. I've initiated the process. Just before resigning, Shinseki took steps to deal with that, announcing senior leaders at the Phoenix VA hospital at the center of the scandal will be fired. And all 1,700 vets who've been waiting for appointments there will be helped immediately, while all bonuses, yes, bonuses for senior VA officials this year will be canceled. I said we wouldn't tolerate misconduct, and we will not. I said that we have to do better, and we will. President Obama said the problem of long wait times and secret waiting lists took him by surprise. This was not something that we were hearing when I was traveling around the country, the particular issue of scheduling. But over a year ago, the chairman of the House Veterans Affairs Committee warned the White House about, quote, management failures, deception, and lack of accountability permeating VA's health care system, adding in a letter to the president, your direct involvement and leadership is required. The White House never responded. The shockwaves from this felt across the country. And, John, another bombshell, another big name leaving. This had nothing to do with the VA scandal? Uh -huh. Oh, absolutely not. White House Press Secretary Jay Carney is one of the longest serving press secretaries we've ever had. In fact, only one other has served longer since they put television cameras in the briefing room. He had asked the president back in April uh, to leave sometime this summer. The president made it official today coming in to the briefing room and saying that Jay would be leaving, but saying that he has become one of my closest friends. Well, John, Jay. we know you had many healthy exchanges with Mr. Carney. I'm sure he'll enjoy the break from that. John Carl tonight. Indeed. Thank you.